Today we're taking a look at the Geekom A7 Mini PC and I want you to take the word Mini PC out of the equation when you're thinking about the performance of what you're getting with this system. This is a form factor of a Mini PC but the powerhouse of a laptop and that's one of the biggest things here. AMD Ryzen processor and of course Radeon graphics which means we can not only game we can also edit videos and render them on this Mini PC. This is TK and this is the Geekom A7 PC. Mini PC in form factor, but full, basically full laptop power experience. Let's check it out and see all the unique features that this system can bring us. So what we have in front of us is the actual box. This is the A7 mini PC. There's, it's basically a configuration of eight cores and 16 threads. So as I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, we have the 7840HS or 8940HS. But as far as the packaging, what you get in here, you get the power brick, you get a power cable that connects to it to make it nice and long. And of course we have an HDMI cable and the fully assembled PC with a thank you card and some instruction information. As far as the IO and everything that we get in here are pretty much identical. The difference is gonna change where it comes down to the storage and the RAM configuration as well as the process. The system that I got has 32 gigs of RAM with a two terabyte storage. Now you are able to obviously get a different configuration all the way up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and of course um, up to one between one or two terabytes of storage that are pre-configured. That's really nice out of the box. So there's basically an R7 and an R9 configuration. Now, the biggest thing I'll probably say as far as the processor, though, is this is where the experience kind of changes. Both processors are going to support uh, up to four times 4K displays or up to an 8K display. That's going to because, again, we're using the Radeon graphics uh, here, and this is the 780M Radeon graphics uh, chip that we have in there. Gaming on this has been an absolute blast. It is loaded with Windows 11 Pro and, of course, uh, has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 built in. And, of course, the fan speed that we have in here, because it does support in an air intake from the sides in here, since you see that it seems to be like one entirely solid piece, intakes from the sides and actually blows the air right on the back over the I.O. Uh, in the back part of the actual unit itself. As far as what we get in here, as far as I.O. directly between the in front and the back, we have a power port in here. We have one USB 4.0 that's positioned right here over the left HDMI. Now we have two HDMI 2.0s that are built in here. And again, you can support video output as well over the USB-C on the top left. And that's gonna be the USB 4.0. We have a full-size Ethernet, 3.2 USB-C here. And of course, a USB 2.0 that's positioned here. On the front, we have a two, those two USB ports that I talked to you about, the 3.2, a headphone jack, a power button, and an SD card on the left side. That's gonna be a full-size SD card support. When it comes down to upgradability and configuration and what we get in here, essentially the SSD that we have in here is a replaceable piece. It's a PCIe, uh, basically PCIe 4.0 with SATA 3.0 speeds that are built in here. And we also have the ability of replacing the two DIMMs of RAM that we have that are the DR5. Again, the configuration that I got had two sticks of 16, that got that's a 32, and the two terabyte drive that was again replaceable. You're able to replace it, change it, upgrade it, depending to your, uh, to your liking. There's four screw options at the bottom here to be able to unscrew the bottom plate. I will say when you're removing it initially, please be careful as one of the antennas is actually taped to the bottom plate and you need to remove that tape to release it before you can go further and remove the secondary plate to get access to the hard drive or the SSD essentially and the RAM configuration. Last time we reviewed a Geekom PC, it was considered to be more of a budget friendly. Essentially, it's intended for general office use, word processing, email, responding, but not necessarily a, a gaming rig or even considered to be good at editing because in the for the most part, the processor that we were getting here, the NC, isn't really considered to be a powerhouse. The 7940 that we have in here, now that's the one I have on my configuration, has so much power, it has so much configuration in there that I rendered a 4K 30 frames per second out of a 4K 60 frames per second sample. Now, again, it was not a very complicated timeline, but I wanted to see how the experience was using CapCut, and it rendered it quite fast considering the fact that we were looking at, again, a mini PC. The term really should be configured to say basically like a mini giant in this situation. But when it comes down to the actual experience where I really enjoyed this is gaming. Call of Duty configuration options that we have with the Ryzen option, again, built-in processor and gaming configurations and the Radeon uh, chip that we have here for, for the GPU. You're able to play Call of Duty Mobile at 120 frames per second at 1080p resolution. Actually, gaming on this is not an absolute stop. This is definitely going to be able to handle a lot of your games. And as you can see here with the Geekbench score, it actually handles quite well considering what we're looking at in here. 
the storage is fast, the RAM is fast, uh, the device and the processor and the GPU are fast. And I like the fact that it's densely connected in here and built inside. You, when you open up the standard 12 series or the Air series that we talked about before, you can see where it's basically a much different build. And here you feel it from the weight, from the performance. Uh, the fans do kick up, but they don't get very loud or loud enough to bother us. I also did try this out because I just wanted to see how this would work with my Rokit Air, uh, AR glasses, where I connected them as the display. And I had that beautiful large display running at 120 frames per second. And of course, playing Call of Duty there was absolutely fantastic. Uh, tracking on this IO is absolutely going to be great. If you're looking for a little PC that can handle a lot of your work and it's easily hideable because of the way it's configured, this is going to work. It does need to have some airflow, so make sure you're not putting it in an area where it blocks the sides because that's again where the air intake is coming, where it's going to come out. Again, depending if you're putting a lot of work on it, you're running processing any videos, all of that's going to work. It's going to work really nice. It does come with Windows 11 Pro. There's a lot of storage in here, two terabytes uh, storage. And again, you can expand more or even add uh, external SSDs. I was actually using an external SanDisk um, uh, drive that I had, which was up to another four terabytes. And I was editing off of that using the USB 4.0 port on the back. So full size, everything full experience. And definitely one of the things that really surprised me here is the small form factor is deceiving because the performance here is literally comparable to what a laptop would give us. Again, the processors are HS processors. Those are laptop great experiences put in a small form factor and of course provides us low power consumption, extended gaming, and makes this so that you can actually take this with you wherever you want. As long as you have a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse, you can take this with you on a trip, connect it to a TV in the hotel, play some games, or again, the way I was doing it, using AR glasses and keyboard and mouse, I was actually able to play 120 frames per second Call of Duty on a mini PC. So I do want to say thank you very much to Geekon for allowing me to check out the A7. Again, there's two different configurations and you're able to customize it to the way you want. But I feel like the setup that they sent me here with the 7940HS is very, very nice and very powerful. Surprisingly more powerful than I thought I was going to be able to get out of this. Again, the ability of up... And again, I wasn't playing Call of Duty on low settings. I'll say that. That's the where I was surprised. So I hope that you find this helpful. And again, let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the A7? Is this a PC that you guys would consider getting to actually use as your more, you know, portable gaming rig when you travel? Because it's one of those things that you can't take the entire PC with you, but you can definitely take that mini Geekom PC with you on the go. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I will see you in the next video.